Hey, what's going on everybody? So guys are here with a new video of Clash Royale. So as you can see guys, I'm now at 1530 trophies. I know I've I'm down now a lot of trophies, but because it's down because of I'm I've been trying a lot of different cards to find a way to win. Like to every time win without losing and I've discovered this battle deck so it's really cheap so the average elixir cost is just 3.1 but as you can see I have the expo and the prince with me so let's try a battle and let me show you how does this work so first of all because I do have the archers and the bomber and these pure goblins the goblins so they are a lot and they are cheap so look at the damage they deal even though they are just cheap but they do deal a lot of damage although uh, also I have the skeleton which is one elixir cost so if you see I get the arrows because usually what gets annoying is uh, the uh, the minion horde so I usually use the arrows for them not the goblin barrel because the goblin barrel I just usually put the skeleton to take them down so yeah so let me show you so while I'm putting this I just put now as you can see I drop the expo in here and to distract any troop coming I just put as much as the cards I can so as you can see now the musketeer is coming and I'm just putting a lot now the giant skeleton is over here I'm doing my best to not let the giant skeleton get closer to the expo because in this case it will just be destroyed or uh, yeah it will be destroyed so as you can see now it's destroyed but still I'm doing a good job in dealing good damage to the towers as you can see I st I I still I'm still hitting that tower with the archers so yeah so now since I have the skeleton and the bomber with me I just put the prince on the other side and now just put the skeleton and the bomber to just distract both sides but what I expected that I know he would got he would put the barbarians like everybody do because it really cannot take them down but still, I still do my best to take the barbarians down with the goblins because goblins really deal a lot of damage. But since there is one, only, there is only one barbarian left, I don't really use it. So now, since I use the arrows, just put the archers to take down the minions because they really good, deal good damage, even though they just can hit or kill three, but they will still be remaining three. So now again. Using the same way the expo and I'm, I'm sure he will use again the giants, the skeleton giant. So in this case, the skeleton, as you can see, the skeleton giant is quite far, which will not let it destroy, but my troops will be destroyed, even though I destroyed all of his troops as well. Now using the arrows since he is aiming to expo. So yeah, it seems like I'm destroying this tower right now and I'm doing good now I can even put another expo so this is really shows how cheap it is you get elixir as fast as possible because you can't because it's just an average of 3.1 which is really amazing so since we have 10 seconds left I'm just trying to do my best not to let them destroy that tower over here just by dropping everything I can now the arrows toward the uh, go the goblin barrel and the and we just have one barbarian but we still won this one so yeah this is really amazing strategy or maybe an amazing battle deck I don't, I don't know how did I do it I just tried to do the most cheapest and the most effect like the cheapest with effective uh, like the battle deck and I figured out this one so let me show you a, a replay of my a couple I played in uh, like a couple minutes ago and this is how if the player puts toward the so I'm speeding this up because I'm showing you what if the player puts the prince and the goblin toward the expo how to destroy it so here's uh, as a, well, a way like if you can see the same exact thing you just put archers goblin speed the spear goblins and the goblin skeletons as much as you can toward the gut toward the hog rider and the prince to take them down so yeah, I'm too close to destroy that tower, and again with the gob with the horde, uh, min with the minion horde using the arrows to take them down. So as you can see, I'm still hitting that one, and he tried to freeze it, but it's a good try. I'm still, a I'm still, I still can't take everything down. So yeah, I'm now using the skeleton with the prince, and seems like I took this one down. And now as you can see this player has a max of elixirs above there 
because by this time he left the battle probably he might know that he would lose this one or maybe he got disconnecting or maybe he got low wi-fi and he disconnected so yeah but still i won this one even though if he's on i'm sure i can win because i hit almost all of the tower like on the right side as you can see it's almost all it's almost being destroyed or killed so i can just put any goblin spear or archers to take it down so yeah that's it really for this video i hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe like and share for more clash royale videos and give it a try if give it a try if you have all of the cards tell me how does it work with you and yeah that's it really for this video goodbye see you later guys